Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, I just pulled the hanging tag off of uh, uh, this new arrival that just showed up here for us. This has uh, got the classic Camaro look to it with the cow induction hood, the stripes on it that I just think look awesome. And uh, this has the additional package of the RS uh, grill and the motorized uh, hideaway headlights. They really did a great job with this car. They've converted this car from the vacuum system to the motorized electric system and they actually hid the, the uh, headlight motors uh, underneath the headlights so it looks really stock and looks really cool. It also has a remote control too that you push a button and that opens up the headlights if you want to. But a lot of people actually like to drive uh, with the headlights on um, which this helps them do that. You can bypass the system that way. So uh, when the headlights are on, I'd like to show you that real quick because it looks really cool. Uh, when the headlights are showing through those grills, and if you had the stock system on, you couldn't do that. See, that's just a great look. Look how cool that looks. And you actually have enough light to drive around and things like that. It's not, a, you know, maybe on a dark uh, road you don't want to do that, but uh, in the city and things like that, this is the wicked, wicked look. Anyway, great hood, great stripes. And uh, this car's kind of finished up exactly the way uh, I think it rolled off the showroom floor, including the real big block super sport wheels. It's got factory disc brakes on it, BF Goodrich radial TA. It's got the front and rear spoilers, which just complement the cars. You know, I just love, uh, most any muscle car almost has to have a spoiler somewhere, a chin spoiler, rear spoiler, something like that. New chrome, new stainless, all new emblems. Got a great looking black and gray kind of houndstooth bucket seat interior. Part of the reason we do the videos is, is paint quality. You know, pictures, and I, I, I purchase a lot, a lot of cars, so I'm just telling you guys why I say this is because, you know, a lot of times in pictures, they don't show you exactly what you think, and they make the car look really good, and when the car arrives, it is nothing like you envision. So I like to take a minute, and I like to kind of show uh, the depth and clarity of, of things so that you can actually see, you can actually read the stickers in the paint word for word. I know this car was wet sanded uh, and show waxed and detailed and it came out really, really nice. Let's take a peek under the hood for a second. This is nice. You got your big Mark IV big block in here, you got power steering, you got disc brakes, you got the nice cal induction air cleaner with a working cal induction hood, it's got an updated big four core radiator, it's got the dual horns in here, it's got the overflow bottle. You know, this little stuff like this, I know this sounds crazy, but this is the stuff that we do to try to send you the right car. We make sure that the turn signals work, that it has a horn in it or two horns, uh, seat belts, you know, all these little things that if you buy a car outside of uh, someplace like here, these are all the things that you're going to have to do to the car. We, we spend almost a couple grand getting a car ready for the showroom so that when you get that car and it rolls off the truck, you put a key in it, take wherever it is you want to go, and off you go for a ride. So nicely detailed. They went ahead and put the insulation under the hood. Another nice little step. Doesn't cost a lot of money, but these are where the shortcuts start to come in. And once you start to see this stuff, you need to start looking a little bit more. Okay? You got the braces for the fenders in here. Everything's nicely detailed. The bushings are nice and uh, soft and good looking and they're all cracked up. It's got a fresh battery in it. Nice radiator cap. And it's detailed and it's kind of ready to go. I'd say the only real modification to this car, and this is a, an easy fix, and it's kind of up to you guys, is it has uh, an aftermarket digital sound system right here. What we do for a lot of people is we take that sound system and we hide it in the glove box, and then we put the stock AM radio right back in there. So, uh, and that keeps it kind of all stock looking and things like that. Got the right super sport wheel. Gotta have a console, man. A Camaro without a console, just not a Camaro. So, this car here finished up nicely, and it looks really great. Can we take a peek in the trunk for a second? This is nice, nice soft weather stripping. And that's all around the whole car. Nice trunk mat, it's been detailed. Kind of ready to go. This is a nice driving car. This car's fast, it's powerful. Uh, and not only that, it definitely looks good. I love the RS front ends on these cars. This has the correct RS rear taillights here. And they're down below where they're supposed to be. It's not just somebody threw some uh, headlights on the car and didn't finish it or just threw some doors on. So it looks really good. It's a great looking car. Anyway, uh, how about I start it for you so uh, you can hear what it sounds like. All I need to say to you is this, like if you can, uh, if you can afford to get a big block Camaro, uh, an RSSS car, 
a beautiful red with the white stripes uh, is the way to go. We're very proud to present this 69 uh, SS396 Camaro and uh, the SSRS396 Camaro. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.